for you and you are in to win that prize. New Frontiers. What is it? Well, we've got three people in the studio who will tell me about it, uh, two of whom have significantly benefited from it, um, and uh, they uh, are the Head of Innovation and Enterprise at the Rick Institute of Technology, Gillian Barry, Alan Wickstead of No Place Like, and Kira McGuan of Rahu. You're welcome. Good morning uh, to Good morning. all of you. So, so Gillian, what's New Frontiers? So New Frontiers is a national entrepreneur development program. It is funded by Enterprise Ireland and run locally here at the Hartnett Enterprise Acceleration Centre at LIT on campus in Moylish. Um, and it's really an entrepreneur development and a venture development program. So as entrepreneurs, if you have a business idea that you think, okay, I've got something here that I think uh, I could create a company for, um, create a job for myself, potentially other people, scale a business, but I don't really know where to go from here, or at least I know that there's things I don't know and I could do with being part of a kind of a structure that can help me along the way. So the program um, is, so this part of the program we're talking about today is a six month incubation program. Um, and really we try to design it in a way that it's entrepreneur development, so you as a person, and uh, to develop an entrepreneur toolkit that you can test, validate any idea and bring to fruition that idea. Um, but also then helping you with the current idea that you have to help ensure venture success. So it's, you know, it's multifaceted in lots of different ways um, to help you develop and quite intense over six months. All right, Alan. So what's No Place Like? So No Place Like is a software service for home or retailers that enables their shoppers to purchase their products using augmented reality. So with a click of a button on a phone, you can visualize a table, a chair, a sofa, whatever the product is for sale, directly into your home in one-to-one -one scale as if it's there right in front of you. Okay. That's very interesting. So my front room, if I want to change furniture, you're the person who can help. Absolutely. So currently we've got our service live with uh, Easy Living Interiors uh, based in Cork and uh, in 13 other stores around the country. And we're looking forward to launching soon with Meadows and Burn as well. So you'll be able to purchase their products using augmented reality and see what they look like before you actually get them delivered. And is that only in the shop or? No, it's for use in your, in your own home. So if you're in your kitchen looking for a new dining table, go on to uh, Easy Living Interiors website, check out some of their dining tables, just tap a button and it'll basically pop that table into your house in a one-to-one -one scale. Wow, which you can see on the screen. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So it will calculate exactly what it looks like. Uh, match the lighting, match the colours, match the size, everything like that. Uh, so you can be super confident of your purchase before you make it. And, and can you see if it will match my lovely visage? <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting. Uh, and Kira, what's Rahu about? So um, I'm a former teacher and school leader, um, and Rahu is a professional development platform for teachers making uh, professional development accessible anytime, anywhere. That is fascinating, because uh, he has been tried in some other countries. The Guardian have that kind of concept where teachers get together, don't they, on that sort of platform. So uh, how are you rolling it out? Um, so we have a range of sor short courses that are from two to ten hours, and then we have our Department of Education summer courses. So they're all online, and the principle is that teachers can be able to access these courses from wherever they are in the world. So at the moment, you have a lot of teachers on their summer holidays, um, so they're traveling around the world, getting, you know, enjoying the perks of um, being a teacher as well but it also means that they can tap in and out of our courses as well and um, acquire that learning and that upskilling that has been approved by the department. And can they share knowledge? Absolutely, so there's forums and there's a variety of things um, going on as well as that we do um, events around the country as well and workshops face to face as well just to meet the teachers and learn about their problems and you know see how we can help them further. And how has the new Frontiers programme helped you? Um, well, I suppose I engaged with New Frontiers in May 2018. Um, I did phase one, which is a much shorter version of phase two that Gillian was just talking about. And it was two evenings a week for about five weeks, I think, in May last year. And I have no business experience, no business background. Um, so for me, I, you know, I learned so much and I launched my summer courses last year. So Rahu actually launched the online platform after doing phase one. And then I engaged and applied and was successful for phase two which started in October of 2018 and I just finished up there in April May this year and I suppose you know it's just a bapti baptism of fire I don't know <laughs> if that's what you call it but I'm um, just um, 
it's I suppose it's like a mini MBA that's what people call it I mean if you want to learn how to be a business person and you know scale business and all the different things that go along with it it's definitely the place to, place to go and Alan how has it benefited you with new, no place like yeah I mean massively to be honest it's easy to get uh, as a technology person it's easy to get stuck in front of your laptop uh, typing code all day but uh, what really matters is getting out and meeting people uh, proving that your product is solving a problem for people uh, and that's where New Frontiers really comes in and uh, helps accelerate that process for you uh, to help us massively uh, find our target market find our niche uh, and then get initial revenue as well, which is the obviously the main thing for any company. Now, what was the biggest single lesson you learned? Uh, the biggest single lesson I learned, I suppose, is to uh, pivot when it's time to pivot. Uh, at the start, we started building our own app to do this, and uh, look, retailers loved the augmented reality side of it, but they just didn't. They weren't ready to take on board the responsibility of marketing and de deploying an app to their customers. Uh, so we learned that pretty quickly, uh, pivoted, and then moved to like a mobile, uh, a mobile only solution. So it just works directly on our website now. Oh. Okay, I understand yeah. you. So they're not not on the app. No, right. So that, that's a lesson that you learned. Um, and, and and for you, you know, what was the thing that maybe surprised you most in uh, the learning process? Um, I suppose uh, along those lines as well. You know, when you're starting up your own business, so you're doing something um, a bit different. You can get stuck in your own head and your own thoughts, and you know the highs and lows. Um, I think it's the importance of network and community and reaching out for help and getting ideas and just asking for other people's advice um, where maybe you might have been scared to before. I think um, it's been really valuable with that. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you know, for years, Jay, and you know, politicians, particularly in speeches, have talked a lot of horse manure about supporting entrepreneurs. But at least this is a real example of it, isn't it? Yeah, I know this is a fantastic example of how we can support entrepreneurs and it is a community effort as well. We were very lucky to have entrepreneur in residence uh, in the Hartnett Centre, Dick Meany, um, and lots of people who give their time to mentor and uh, you know and support the young startups that are coming through the um, uh, the process. And um, so, it, like the, the I suppose this is a funded program over the last uh, seven years now, um, and there was predecessors to this, so it's been around for we've been running it for twelve years. Um, uh, so they're very important these types of programs to support young or sorry young businesses not necessarily always young entrepreneurs and um, uh, we've all all different uh, uh well is it competitive to even get into the program oh it is yeah because like the, we we might get uh you know 70 to 100 applications uh for, for New Frontiers and we'll take on maybe 14. But the idea being is that we're trying as well through the different phases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what we do is actually we, we, we do one-on-one -on -one clinics and we do workshops and boot camps and we try and help people to um, engage at the right time as well. Um, and we also work of course with the local enterprise office, Enterprise Ireland, the different agencies around. Because when you come on to New Frontiers you really need to be ready. It's at that time where you're ready now to kind of really give it a go. There is a 15,000 euro stipend that comes with it so that helps you to kind of maybe give up a job that you have and really focus because you can you know pay the mortgage for the, the six months and you know put the bill on the table and really get the head down and focus on the business um, really you know testing the market space uh, validating the idea pivot if you need to pivot learn those lessons early on make the mistakes in the program um, and uh, and you know hopefully it will work out for you for this idea or maybe a, a variation of it. So if there's uh, someone sitting at home this morning having a cup of coffee with either an idea or a, a, a young business mm -hmm. uh, or indeed uh, someone thinking of returning to work, then there, there is this possibility. So how can people get in touch? Yeah, so on the Hartnett Centre, so H-A-R-T-N-E-T-T, -T, Hartnett Centre dot I E uh, website, you can go in there and click on the New Frontiers programme and the application form is all online and everything. Uh, there's contact details there as well. So they can get in touch if they have any questions. We have an information session on Monday at lunchtime in the Hartnett Centre uh, on campus in LIT Wallish and everybody is welcome to come along to that and hear more about the programme, um, what the you know the different uh, uh, application process is all about and also the, the value. I mean, you, as I mentioned, you get you know, 15,000 euro grant, that really can help. Um, there's training workshops, there's executive mentoring, there's one-on-one -on -one clinics. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really is a, um, a, a fantastic program. Yeah. Okay, great. Head of Innovation and Enterprise at LIT, Gillian Barry, Alan Wicks, head of No Place Like, and Kira McGuan of Rahu. Thank you all very much for coming in and best of luck with your businesses. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank well you. for you.